We know that he continues to do business with China because he's got a secret Chinese bank account. How is that possible? How is that possible? A secret Chinese bank account. Listen, can you imagine if I had had a secret Chinese bank account when I was running for re-election? You think, you, think you think Fox News might have been a little concerned about that? They would have called me Beijing Barry. It is not a great idea to have a president who owes a bunch of money to people overseas. Look, I get that this president wants full credit for the economy he inherited and zero blame for the pandemic that he ignored. But you know what? The job doesn't work that way. Tweeting at the television doesn't fix things. Making stuff up doesn't make people's lives better. You've got to have a plan. You've got to put in the work. And along with the experience to get things done, Joe Biden has concrete plans and policies that will turn our vision of a better, fairer, stronger country into a reality. We literally left this White House a pandemic playbook that would have shown them how to respond before the virus reached our shores. They probably used it to, I don't know, prop up a wobbly table somewhere. We don't know where that playbook went. And with Joe and Kamala at the helm, you're not going to have to think about the crazy things they said every day. And that's worth a lot. You're not going to have to argue about them every day. It just won't be so exhausting. You, you might be able to have a Thanksgiving dinner without having an argument. You'll be able to go about your lives knowing that the president is not going to retweet conspiracy theories about secret cabals running the world or, or that Navy SEALs didn't actually kill bin Laden. Think about that. The President of the United States retweeted that. Imagine. What? What? We're not going to have a President that goes out of his way to insult anybody who doesn't support him or, or, or threaten them with jail. That's not normal presidential behavior. We wouldn't tolerate it from a high school principal. We wouldn't tolerate it from a, a coach. We wouldn't tolerate it from a co-worker. We, we wouldn't tolerate it in our own family, except for maybe crazy uncle somewhere, you know. He, yeah, he's, he's you're fired up. Honk if you're ready to go. Are you fired up? Are you ready to go? Are you fired up? Are you ready to go? Let's go make it happen. I love you, Philadelphia. Thank you. I love you.